맞습니다. And there was Lakia in the back. There was a flash here. Jet comes up on it. Yeah, flash comes in. Go ahead. Dash forward, gets the spray down onto Suggest. Now Lockyer gonna be eliminated. XE finding that headshot. TS will be traded out as Perry finds one, but overall it is an absolute slaughter. Lau sneaks his way in, gets the headshot, dashes to the side. Will get taken down. A cheeky little kill from him. Through Tripwire is out. Dash away from TS. Throw down another smoke, and he's looking to get aggro. Pushes forward. Will have heard that aggressive push, and Solo does manage to find one. The trap set up. He's just waiting in it, hoping that XE will push. Spots him out of the corner. XE starting to move forward, goes into the trap, does manage to find the spray down. TS comes up with another one, suggests just will fall. And this is looking very good again for TNL. Lose out on several members, but allow. Now in a 1v2 situation, can he pull it off? Echo's taking a little bit of damage. XE down to half, headshot comes through, finds one. Slow push around the back, and he's got the shots to the chest there. On to Echo, takes him out. The defuse will come through, and Pro Party is on the board in their must-win round. And absolutely, and the uh -oh. retake is really good. Well, a really aggressive and fast push in, and look who is waiting. It's Solo in the garage, manages to spray down two. Afina and TS both falling to this Cypher. Now pressed out onto the side. Perry's ready for another two. And that is just going to be it. The fastest round I think we've had all tournament long. Yeah, it's a save round for... We'll find one as Godlike started to push his way down short to ca cause a little bit of extra distraction. The rest of the team now collapses over on to see Sight. Solo is trying to stave them off. He's hovering in the back. Perry now joining in from the defender's side. Manages to find that double headshot there as Athena will fall. TS, however, trains back. Opens up the Sight a little bit more. Allow pressing forward, HP bar is low for the remaining members. A great headshot is there from Echo. And that is just gonna be the closeout. TS spraying down even This might be an opportunity to try to go for B again. It seems like TNL just have some kind of attraction to the A site. Pressed up here is Perry. Manages to find one, suggests we'll find another one. Perry comes up absolutely huge! And he will find four for himself. Here for Pro Party, they're ready for this movement. They're ready for the try, but the lockdown is available. So now they have to get out of it. They're going to push right through. Oh my god, again. But it's costing them. They're getting shoved back. Now the lockdown going to be canceled. Spike down over here, over towards short. Paranoia. Nope, smoke going to be invested. Push out around the corner. Headshot comes through from Godlike. He's going to retreat back up the ramp. Spray's coming out. Allow in hot pursuit. Here's the plant on the other side of the box. Now it gets dropped in, gets the spray, and that is going to be the finish as the defuse comes through. So it's going to be waiting for an opportunity. Sphere going to be drawn out, coming through from defender spawn, looking for a connection. Does manage to get a hit onto Alfina. Alfina takes him low. Harry spraying does manage to find the kill. Pushing forward, XC taking down Lockie and out. The smokes are still going to be there. The bomb not yet planted. Will finally go down with 39 seconds remaining on the clock. HP bar is low for everybody here on the side of TNL, whereas Lau and Perry are topped up. So certainly do have an opportunity to still take this round and move up six to five. Allow had a moment here where he could have got in on the flank, but he was a little slow, but he's still gonna get in and get one onto Godlike, and then just dash right out. And tagged up there for a moment, down to 70 HP is TS! It's back-to-back -back headshots, exit from the garage. Allow will manage to find one. Oh, he's Undrawn so hurt. Drawn out, yeah, he is. In dire straits at the moment, goes in, tries to get the spray. He's sticking it for there for now, but yep, spray does come through. Each jet reaches ability to use the flash point, get the flash, and then somebody's there to instantly follow up after the flash lands. Yep. You see this all the time with these two teams. All right, well we do have smoke going down in heaven. That's going to draw out the drone instantly. They get the spot on a solo. They see the bomb going down. A nice little rush on the site. Does mean the pro party have a to themselves? Now it's going to be this Sheriff defense coming through. XE moving up over towards, okay, over towards short. You can see that's Athena taken down. Multiple kills now going to be coming through, though. The Spectre spray on to two from Echo. And now that the defuse will come in, TNL very quickly retake the A site. It's not for free. They do lose out on Killjoy. And at this point, they have to go for it. They're going to have to just try to rush for this. And look at this. They're sending Lorena in out of the side. She's going to pick up one. Immediately grabs onto that demar. If it's not good enough, it's going to be a finish from Godlike. It does get struck down. They make their way over onto the site. It was a nice little distraction, though. It drew everybody over towards the C site. They get the bomb placed. With barely any time to spare, Solo guarding the exit of C into Defender's spawn. Takes him down. Now we'll move over potentially through this A link. He's uncertain if there's anybody else over on the C site, so he's, he's going to be playing on B for now. 
All right, Cypher needs to come over and make sure anybody coming from the backside isn't able to do much from B here for Pro Party. So we do have a trade in the site. And we do have Echo trying to get this on, but the Hunter Fury gonna make him back off. Yeah, forces him down into short. He's pushing, he's looking for the kill. Oh, the knife, or rather the axe was out for suggest. So he does get struck down, but acknowledging that there's just not enough time, Echo will have to save his gun. He's just looking to see if Solo will exit through A towards attacker spawn, but he's just gonna pull back. See if they're gonna go for that, Take try to take advantage of it. I don't know if they were seen in short. Spotted out at least one over on long. Make their way up onto the spot site, spraying through that smoke, through that cloud burst. They do find one. Godlike, however, punishes Solo over I could, I outside could. of B. Because he was trying to go in for a flank like we've seen from him so many times. Big moment here from X. He's got that heaven control. See what he can do. Underneath him is the Reyna in hell. And this, the crossfire looks pretty decent right now for Pro Party. Yep, Paranoia pushed out allow. Playing this angle yet again. Comes up with two, gets the third on a godlike up in heaven. Looked for the fourth to try to eliminate TS. Couldn't quite find it. He's still playing up in the site with this AWP. Extremely risky. And he's just gonna get sprayed down. Parry just finds it. TS. I mean, it is rifles, there is an Odin here, but that is brutal now. The AWP gone. TS taken down, just like we saw from Malau on their defensive side when he was going for the AWP picks. Yeah, these Jets sometimes just get a little over-eager. We saw it yesterday, we're seeing it here to get again today uh, with these operators. So much confidence when you have that gun in your hand. And uh, now it is going to go into the hands of Echo instead. Let's see if he can do a little something with it. Scoops that one up. Hold on the angle, but doesn't manage to find the shot. Says, okay, I'm just gonna go straight back over towards my, to my Vandal. Let's pick that up. No. Looking for the headshot, but Allow strikes first. Gets a nice little equal, another kill there onto Godlikes. And out down two members is TNL. Pro Party looking to tie us up yet again, make the score 11 to 11. Lockia does manage to find two. Solo taken down. Guild does come through, and with the back up there from Zajet. Pro Party, can they take us? Two overtime, just need to win this round right here. We do have rifles, Lockyer going to be the exception it would seem there. Here comes out TS, pushing forward, down to 14 HP, but still does manage to find Allow. XE, however, gonna be traded out, so one for one. With a hell of a lot more damage on the TS than they got onto Lockyer. So this is absolutely workable for the side of Pro Party. TS just gonna be sitting here outside of Lobby. Aldrone is there, he looks for the headshot, but Lucky will go ahead and take him down through the wall, and now he's gonna top himself up. That's the risk you take when you sneak up into that little cubby there at A long. If something reveals your position, you have nowhere to go. Yep. Nowhere to hide. No tail when to try to escape with. So now a four to three advantage for Pro Party. Do they just full commit in onto A? They're delaying, and you can see that there's a major rotate off the A site here for TNL. We have eyes on B at the moment. Yo, yeah. And the trap wires are set uh, through the spawn area for the attackers from the Cypher. So it's going to be pretty tough for TNL to try to come Sounds around that backside. You can see Afina wants to go for it. This is this has got to be overtime. I mean, a, a 3v4 retake of A site would be damn impressive from TNL. We'll find out if they can pull it off. Fury does come through, gets one connection, looks for the second. Unable to find it, takes his time, and will get Solo! Echo plays it patiently and strikes now, equalizing the lineup 3v3. Still the reapproach, however, here from TNL can be challenging. I mean, that's a couple 9,000 IQ Hunter Furies we've seen here. Really good Sova play from Echo and Suggest. Fantastically done, but is it going to be enough? Vault line tossed through, scouting arrow coming through. Paranoia connects onto all three. Godlike taken down, but Athena managed to find Lockia. Perry is gone. And that will just be the cleanup as it just falls. TNL retake the site. They actually pull it off. And they. He was making some really interesting agent switch ups that I'll get to after this round. All right, well, a press up now through mid. Three members chilling here, one in a ramen or link, whatever you prefer. We'll start to pressure out. Still just have Godlike hovering in the garage. They make their way into heaven. This one's gonna be tossed down. But aggressive push coming through. Point blank headshots coming in as Lakia does manage to claim two. You know, only able to trade back onto two members here. And now it's yeah, Echo all by himself on top of Rafters. Will get struck down with area. 
Now they'll press in. Another flash used from. Now push coming in. Okay. I think a little too aggressive maybe there from Solo. Just uh, kind of gets greeted by a headshot. Yeah, there's a lot of time being bought here. Echo in mid. Oh, he's oh. going to get out dueled by Allow with the Operator. Yeah, nice little quick, quick scope in to find that kill. 3v2, TNL, can they defend this? Afina is just going to be sitting down below Heaven. Flash comes out around the corner. Shots in, suggest those managed to find one. Looking for another one! The site. TS just scouting out a little bit. Let's we'll go ahead and play it out here in the open. Two going to be pressing down the A ramp on the back side. The turret going to be destroyed instantly as Solo finds one. It's too many angles to follow, however. Does get struck down in the end as Echo comes up with two kills for himself. 3v3, the retake. Pressure on here from Pro Party. Jumps out, has the rocket, spots godlike, takes him down. Sight now open, but the bomb planted in the open. Get the spot on the one. The cloud burst going to be used. Goes in for the defuse. Will at least take this to half. Does he just stick it? It looks like the answer is going to be yes. It's the paint shells just go ahead, went ahead and cut them off. There's no way for TS. And, you know, the, the 2v3 retake might have actually been possible for Pro Party. Yeah, heavy B push this time. It worked on A. Might as well switch it up and try it over on B, but there's three ready lockdowns. Got him away from that. Woo. He stays in. Now there's a lockdown coming through. Harry's got 25 HP. That is absolutely brutal. Kind of got destroyed. He's the breach trying to dissuade them. Flash is coming out. Lakia hooks up against the wall. Made their entry out onto the site. But on the side, Perry manages to come up with three. Finally does get taken down by Godlike. Hot hands out into the garage entryway. And Godlike does it. Already some early aggression. Lakia does jump down, keeps himself safe, but wasn't ready for TS to poke out around the other side of that cloud burst as he's diving in deep with the tailwind. So very nicely done. B site opened up. Plenty of vision obscured here for Pro Party, so the bomb can just go down. Wall out onto Ali yet again. So I'm breaking that one away. Does still have the be there to use. Just one who finds a really nice takedown on Echo. Just Kind of sniffing out that rotate around from the mid-side, so cuts him down. Making this a 4v4. Drop down comes through, gets the better of Godlike with the headshot. Look up there for a moment from the suggest, takes him low, Allow finds the shot. Now suddenly a 1v2 with no HP for Allow, pushes up around the corner, but he can't get the shorty in time. Athena is there. They take... They do move down, they are peeking this out. Got to be careful here with Xe. There you go, fault line coming out. He's looking for the spray, can't find it. Suggest so did find one. Res out from Xe, brings Godlike back into the fray. And after resing him, instantly does take down the enemy Phoenix. 3v2, allow. What can he get done? The blade storm dashes in, goes up into the air. He does not find the right click, completely whips it. For the kill, I mean. Doesn't get a reset, Godlike just take it down to a... Look, yeah, if you wanted to be very aggressive, could try to just push over the top of it with one of his natural charges, but we'll just go ahead and break it down with a knife. Another smoke now out. See, not wanting to push through. Godlike. Here's the shots coming in. Oh, wanted to go in on the back of the flash. It's a bit of damage in. Now the arrival of TS. Let's do quite a bit of damage with that frenzy. Paranoia is out. Dashes through. Tailwind takes him out to safety. Spike now down in mid. There's a member trying to retreat, but it's only going to be suggested left alive, and he will fall short. Nice two rounds in a row. Forward blind does a little bit of damage out onto Lucky. He does have that judge. A collateral up shot from TS. Takes down solo and suggests. Follows up for a third, getting rid of his counterpart, Jet, in allow, and suddenly Perry is all on his lonesome, saying, what happened to my friends? He does manage to come up with two, however. Teleports back into the garage, and will be waiting around the corner. Daggers out, and oh, man. Oh, the press in a bit too deep. Round loss. TNL again are on the back foot. TS pushing forward aggressively. Finds allow, but suggest will equalize. So not going to be able to find any additional gun recovery. But the rest of the team is pressing forward. They're trying to make this work. But suggest sitting in the corner. 
takes him down solo in the sewer, finds the final shot. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, missing out on the first shot, kind of scuffs that dash, but uh, at the same time, it is just a slaughter. The rest of the team comes in. Godlike picks up three on the back of two scoops. Sewer. More members over here towards the B site. Rotation is going to start to come in. TS, however, manages to strike first. Finds one, throws the cloud first down into the garage. Gets the flick over onto Allow. And he will get taken down from that right side flank. Perry finds the kill. Solo following up now as Xy will fall as well. A3, V3, but Solo drops as the bomb gets planted. The spam through the box. Echo finds the wall bang to take him down. Lakia is going to try to move over to Rafters. He's got to keep Heaven busy as no one is really interested in coming through Alley just yet. For TNL, they're going to stack up into Heaven. They're making noise. They're aware that at least there's two up top. Lakia. Harry finds one. Looks over to the side, finds Echo. He just wasn't ready for it. Now they see him down. Below, he's on the rope. Below, Heaven pushes forward, looks for the kill. Cannot finish him off in midair, but gets the kill on to Perry. Goes in for the defuse. Can at least take this, but I think he's got to hold it, and he's just not going to be able to do so. Lock for TNL. They played off it a couple times. They're going back into the well of using it here, trying to see if they can bait Pro Party into mistakes. Either if they try to come through mid, they know about it, and they can rotate and pounce on it correctly. Otherwise, they could focus their attention to the sights. You can see the pings coming down A. The Rolling Thunder comes through over to A. It's on go. for Pro Party, but two down. Yeah, he thought that they would have been rotating out of mid already. Flashed headshot comes in. Taking down Solo. Godlike finds the kill, but allow finishes him off. 2v3. Very a little bit low. He's going to be planting in the back right side of the site. Everybody for the moment in heaven. Allow on the flank. It screens. Does he push up? Try to go in and flank, or does he continue to play down below? It seems like that is going to be the case. They got to get going. TNL's got to get moving here pretty quick. Smoke is out. XE and Echo oh, pushing their way forward, but allow. He's got the angle from screens, takes him out. TS smokes it off, pushes in, has the shorty, point blank, gets the kill, draws out the daggers. Drops down, but he's got to go into the smoke. Does so, and Perry is there. He strikes him down, and there you have it. Split. The map choice of TNL goes the way. Often the not, and so having that extra little tankiness uh, in those close quarter combat situations. Got to win this pistol round, though. Scout arrow does go through. Tailwind out as the jet gets onto the site. Brandon just on the other side of this smoke. TS playing it out very carefully and very slowly with the frenzy. Bomb plant does come in. Solo the first one to fall. Switch over to the side. TS helps take down another. Does he know that Perry is going to be waiting there on mid? Haven't spotted him yet. Well, back over here on the site in hell. You see Allow taken down, smoke comes out. They're sticking for the defuse. Push forward, find suggest. That's the cleanup on the team. And that is a secret lap. Flawless coming. Al drone moved forward. Just stuck in the smoke and finished off. Spike goes down, turret shifted now. On the site. Great shot from suggest. Managed to find TS. Echo gonna be taken down, and maybe this will work here. From Pro Party. Two kills opened up. Bulldog, double Spectre now for the side of TNL to try to retake the site. Will be the fault line coming out. Lines already tosses that one out above. Scouting arrow not going to be able to find anything. Vina starts pushing forward. He's a lot of damage in, but can't find the kill. Godlike and Xe, however, they drop down. They clean him out of hell. And they will get the defuse. TNL turn it around 3-0 now here on Ascent. Time, we're going to get maybe... Okay, looked like he was going to try to get an alarm box set up on Heaven first, but throws that down now. He'll just very quickly be destroyed. Threat is here. TS dashing forward with the Tailwind. Hand the Draggers out, but does get cut down very quickly. Because he finds two, he is eliminated, and that is the clear. Yeah, that's just absolutely terrifying right now for TNL. Power spots out a couple. Paranoia gets a connection. TS finds one. He's still in the smoke. Draws at the classic. Gets what it suggests. Dashes to the side. The cloudburst comes down. He's got the op in the back. And just like that, TS has helped to break down Pro Party. 
No more flawless rounds, he says. Takes the game into his own hands, and he does what Jets do best. <laughs> I mean, he just busts on into A lobby there and gets it done. That's a huge moment here for TNL. We've seen a lot of important clutch individual plays from Pro Party to win them some big important rounds. Now we're seeing TS do it for TNL. Let's see if this is the turning point for them in this map. Absolutely huge. Lakia just kind of hovering around, makes his way through a link out into mid, but uh, realistically, what are you going to do here? Starts inching his way up. Breach is about to pop out, spots him, no. and he's going to botch it! To Godlike! Very un- Our divider fell over again. <laughs> it's all good. Aggressive push here from TS. He tries to tail him out of there, but it's just too far forward. He can't get out of line of sight. Does get taken down. Xe, however, playing down below market in a little cubby here. Goes back to back to back headshots. Shutting down this push. Afina finds Perry in mid as well. And now it is just suggest all on his lonesome pushing out of B main, where he will be spotted by a turret as soon as he exits the smoke. They know exactly where he is, though. It feels like a heavyweight boxing match. Blow for blow. These two teams going back and forth through all three maps. I mean, this has just been an incredible, incredible, difficult slog of a series. The attrition battle here is just insane. Yeah. Really great. So just what can he get done? Can he even take some guns away? Pushes out. The wheel just gets struck down by Athena. A nice little crossfire set up here with XC. Be withdrawn and then replaced. TNS just trying to go for a lucky wall bang if there just happens to be somebody in mid. I like the leapfrog attempt here uh, by Solo. Ooh, allow! It's gonna get a double in the corner. Was ready for him, just sitting here on Cubby. Now the push out with the Leer. They get the spot, they see exactly where that recon arrow is gonna be coming from, so they know there's somebody here at the top of mid. Echo drops down, and it's just him and Exe. Still full HP. But point blank, the flank answer is going to be no, not a single connection. Like they want to shift out of there pretty quickly. Allow pulls back away. Main senses that there's going to be multiple people heading in as they're backed up by that Alcron. Lock yet does he push through the smoke? He's a couple shots, but reveals his position. Gets taken down by Athena, who is so close to being eliminated by Perry. Said he'll pull back, goes through window to get his way up into heaven. 30초 남았습니다. Spike being planted now. It is a 2v5. It looks like Solo's making the call that they need to pull back. Solo got spotted by the alarm bot that had been there since the beginning, and he was trying to go for that main flank, and it was, you know, well executed, well set up here by TNL. They set up that alarm bot. It does a dual purpose. It keeps things from being pushed forward towards them at the... Fault line comes through. Blind is out. Lock you up. Blinded again. Pops the Empress. Still going to be sitting in the back of the site. Down in hell. Instantly the kills start coming through. Lockyer finally joining in on the fun. Finds two. John's coming out, pushes up around the corner, gets himself a third. And that's gonna be pro party finally. Match drone there from Suggest. Gets a hit on the one. Solo tries to go for the repeat, but he's not even aiming anywhere near where he needed to be. He's looking at the right side of the doorway instead of the left. Gets taken down. XE however does fall. Not like finds one this is just absolutely bloody back and forth right now as perry on the site gets the headshot here on the ts the spike currently rotating through mid gonna go up top through the cubby into a perry starts making his way over i mean perry is just a one-man wrecking crew yeah he's done this time and time again and i would not be shocked if he comes through here gets the retake on his own and gets the win for pro party when he heard the door getting shut, so says, okay, I will reroute, go through main, and that's exactly where we see their opponent set up. Echo ready for it, has the headshot with the Phantom at distance, and now TNL are just one map away from closing out. But this is going to be the debate. They're going to come out to the one side, but Solo comes up with two. See, that's the aggressive push that actually pays off, and because of that, two members falling down, they are not able to go 
for the sneak play to get the spike on the B site. Fuck yeah, up here in heaven. Cut down, good wall bang. Fina just predicting his movement, knew exactly where he was going to be. Bit of a delayed reaction there onto a loud. Doesn't even get the, get the shoot at him. There's a bomb plank, is ready to come through. Hunter's Fury going to be used. Trying to get a spot. Sees the omen there for a second, but now the bomb can finally go down. Smoke goes away. Fina finds one. Turret going to be used. Places it on top of the center box. Alarm bot as well thrown in. Where's the Odin when you need it? Blast through into hell. Yep. <laughs> Turret taken down. Two on two, TNL playing for the victory. Pro Party playing for their tournament lives. Smoke comes down, they drop Afina, holding here at hell. They fake on the defuse. Push coming in, gets the headshot, and just like that, back to back, Afina takes one.